Hi, welcome to my videos on the Whistler TRX-1. So, if you just want to do a basic search, first thing is turn it on and you, you, you'll come to this menu. If you're not on this screen where it says main menu, just go back with the menu button. Okay, menu button. Now scroll down to search. Keep going till you see search, then press the play button. You're in the main menu. Now go down to limit search. Small arrow here, limit search, press play. And straight away it's gonna search the last thing that you told it to search, okay? Even including the mode, and AU stands for auto. You can see the battery there, you've got the play showing, and even a signal meter. So, you know, if you've got a, decent, a very good antenna, you're gonna get better reception. So now, what if we want to change what we are searching, because at the moment we're just searching what we call the two meter ham band. So what you would do is just go menu, and you're in a different menu now. It's not the same menu you were in before. Now scroll down, keep an eye on the uh, this small arrow here. Go down until you see, first of all, you will see you could turn on attenuator, but we're not going to do that. You'll see the modes, okay? So we can select the modes we want. So if you wanted P25, you would just, when the arrow is here, empty box there, you would select. You fill the box. As you go down, DMR, NXDN. Then we get the chance to actually enter the start frequency of our search. Let's put in four, we'll go enter. You get a new window. We can now type our frequency. Remember the dot. So four, three, three, dot. And then goes all the zeros. We'll go enter. And you do get instructions here. Let's select OK and menu is back. OK, then we want to go down one, select a different frequency. So let's go to enter, play, go four, three, six. Now, you, you know, you could do a much wider search and then play. Go down, that should be save changes. And look, when it goes back automatically into search, it's searching what we just typed in. So that's a very basic search. Let's back out with the menu button. Go all the way back to the beginning menu. Now we're going to go down. We're at the beginning menu, look. You could just press play now and it will just start loading everything that you've got on the SD card and then start and use that. But at the moment, we're just doing the very basics here. So at the beginning, scroll down. I'm gonna look for tune mode. Keep going. There it is. Go to search first. Search. Play. Now go down. Tune mode. Okay? Press play. Now you can type in a frequency. So there's my DMR actually. That's my DMR. Okay, it's automatically found DMR. It's showing the talk group number. Volume is up and down arrow, colour code, slot one, working great. But we could type in a different frequency and go 434.550. Play. Now that is my node that I've got here at home. I'll see if I can activate it. Which is 192. Right, we've activated it, and this is an FM analog. It has a 77 tone. Volume up. Squelch is at the top. Just squelch the small button here. It's quite old-fashioned looking scanner, but it works well. Okay, so that's how to type a frequency. Let's try 145.600. Play. And now that's my local repeater, and if, if we had a better antenna, we'd probably hear it. So let's try one more. We'll go menu. Do it twice. So we go to the beginning. We'll go down to. We're going to look for. Let's have a look now. Search again. Play. 
This time we're going to do service search, play. And this time we can actually search the pre preloaded, and you get this on the unit then one, two, five, the preloaded types. So we've got, let's have a look at them. Public safety, aircraft, railroad, amateur, CB, marine. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's got all that. So if we chose amateur, press play, it's just going to start scanning. Press play to stop, and we'll go menu to go back. Go back again. Remember it was a service search, service search, play. Let's choose aircraft, play. And it will start searching. And that's excellent, isn't it? Of course, you need a decent antenna. It always seems to be an automatic. There is a way to save the save what you find. According to the manual, you know, you're searching, you pause. The manual says, press menu, we paused, or we, or we found something that we liked and paused, press menu, and then it says scroll down and it should give us the option to store channel. But I cannot find that option. So I can find save changes, which I've selected, which I've, if I do that, it just goes back to searching. Pause, menu, Cancel changes, save changes, attenuator. You go back to selecting the modes and even the high and the low, which we've done. Attenuation. I cannot find store channel as per frequency, which as per manual, which I will now show you. So it's page 52 of the manual, and you've got your how to do the, the limit search, which I just show show just have shown you. But at the bottom of that it says here. Press menu, then select store channel and press select EZ scan adds the frequency to the default scan list, names it based on search type. Now maybe when I selected, so if I go menu, maybe when I select save changes, maybe it puts it somewhere. So let me know, I mean it's just not happening. The last thing we're going to show you is how to change the step. See it's scanning through there. Let's see if we can change the step. And again, I feel that we cannot find frequency steps when searching. You can preset things with the software, and I think you can provide steps in the software. But when it comes to just selecting frequency steps, I can't see it, and I can't see it in the manual, and I've Googled some forums. We'll just go down this quickly and then we'll end the video. So we've got scan. If I press scan now, it will scan what's in the device. Press scan list. We can select what we want to scan. So at the moment, air band is selected. Back with the main. Browse library. That's when we can go in and select area. It's a bit like putting in our postcode and then we'll just import what you want it to do. Let's see if we can get out of that. Back. So go down one, or go down again to main menu. Let's go. Let's use the back AI pressing. Is it going to let me go back? Down, then back. No. Let's go try main menu. Yes. I'm going to go. Yes. We want to abandon. So it's not letting me go back. We'll end on a high, not. But can you see how there's a lot of learning to do this, to do with this uh, this scanner? It's not like a ham radio. It, they tick in a scanners tick in a completely different way. But it's great fun learning. Um, but this will get you get you the basics of how to use this scanner just out of the box. Bye for now. All the best.